everybody? It's Jamal from the Hawkstar back again with another Hawkstar film session. Uh, this episode, we have Kelvin Harmon, North Carolina State receiver, uh, six round draft pick from the Redskins this year. So, to jump right into things, uh, we're going to take a look at two games Syracuse of 2018 and the Clemson game from 2017 of Harmon. Two very productive games in which you know his team lost, but he had a he, he just played a really good game, um, and it's worth looking at. So, uh, overall, before we go ahead and jump right into things, uh, I believe Kelvin Harmon and Terry McLaurin will get to Terry soon, <clears throat> but I believe both can be immediate immediate contributors to the Redskins offense and special teams. Uh, offensively, I have absolutely no clue as to why Kelvin Harmon fell so far the way he did in the draft. Now, I can understand if you fall around or two. Um, so, for example, if he was a second-round uh, projection, falling to the fourth is understandable. But, uh, you know, a third, second to third-round projection falling, to the, falling all the way to the sixth, you know, I think that's just a mistake by uh, people's scouting boards and uh, a great value pick. I mean, the Redskins picked, uh, skipped him a few times as well. But it's a value pick, and it makes all the sense in the world for the Redskins to pick him up because they need the help at receiver position. Um... <clears throat> Harmon isn't the fastest, but he is a detailed and fluid uh, route runner and has the quickness and functional strength to be a solid receiver in the NFL. He also has game speed. Um, so you see her at 4 6 40 and you get nervous uh, as a scout, but you see him play and you understand he plays much more faster than that. Um, he's also a good blocker with good technique and how he engages defenders. So in these videos, again, two losses, but two good games from Harmon. We take a look at his grit and competitiveness from start to finish. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, and you'll see the first couple of clips is how he's good at releasing um, or being able to create separation uh, against these defenders in close coverage. Uh, this one is a little bit, I mean, two, three yards away from the defender, two slants, or, or excuse me, two quick jabs, and you'll see how he's able to get out away from him. Easy slant pass for him to catch. This one is along the sideline, but, you know, a quick initial jab, create that separation, Helps him. I'm going to rewind this again. Those are quick initial movements is what creates that separation. Very impressive. Um, this one shows a, a, you'll be able to see a double move by Harmon. Uh, it's as simple as uh, the patience that he runs these double moves is, is what is, is what you know brings value to somebody who's able to do that. So, for example, uh, if, you're out, if you're asked to run a sluggo, um, and I'll let this play, actually. You're asked to run a sluggo, and, you know, you, you can't sail the slant. Then what's the point? Because the defender can read it so easily. So, right here, you're able to see him fake. He has the, he has the head turn and everything. The head turns in. So, what does 31 do? Oh, it's an in route. It's a dig. No, it's not. Runs right past him. The head movement along with the body is everything when you run double routes. He has the patience and awareness to run both because you cannot sell it if you're rushing to get down the field. Because typically on a double move, you are you are the primary guy. Right here, you're able to see he's butt naked. <laughs> he's butt naked running down the field. Um, and it's only one way you create that separation. That's with speed, uh, but also with the patience of a route runner. So what he does... He gets the corner to bite a little bit outside. He turns his hips. He gets him to turn his hips uh, very slightly, and he takes off inside. You'll see it at the top. Um, and you can rewind that again just to take a look. But he gets his, uh, his corner back to turn outside just a little bit, and he goes right past him on the inside. And this right here displays, you know, his, his ability to get, like, a bit of separation at the end with a quick extension. If you're able to do that in the NFL, that's really good. If you're able to do that in the NFL, it's, it's very impressive. Because nine times out of ten, they may call offensive pass interference, but, you know, who, who really knows? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I did that in there. But, again, another another example of his release. Same thing. Quick little push-off, but he gets the separation that he needs. It's very, it's very subtle things at the end. We'll, we'll show that again. Being able to do that is, is, I mean, it's not like a great thing, but just having the awareness and uh, the, the what's it called, savvy, being being savvy and how you and how you catch the ball, how you create separation, 
it's the makings of a very smart receiver in the NFL. He's gonna have to hone in on things, you know, because that can be called that can be called either way. Or excuse me, that can be called on him. I can't say either way, because he's the one extending like that. I don't even know why they didn't call it, to be honest with you. Here, uh, this is a simple. I'll, I'll let it play through. A quick double move into uh, another double move, really. But able to get downfield shows his playmaker ability. Uh, and this is one of a greater runs. Like, look how strong he is running the football as well. And they'll show a couple replays. It looks like it's a, it's a small little slant to, slant to curl, but it's, it's more than that. Now, I mean, he stumbles a few bit. He could have scored. He really could have scored. I'm going to rewind this one more time. Could have scored. But I think the most impressive thing is, you know, how, how he's able to move with the football after um, he catches it. It's tough to bring. He's tough to bring down in traffic. And if you, after, after, as you see these clips too, I just want you to understand, like, there's been conversation about how he catches the football. Uh, is he a hands catcher? Is he a body catcher? I mean, look, we have three minutes worth of, of, of play from Kelvin Harmon and some of these are catches. Some have been completion. Some has been run blocking as well. But the ones that you've seen him catch, understand that he has the awareness to catch these uh, passes in a certain way. Like, for example, uh, let's see, right here, contested traffic, uh, contested pass. He still catches it. He still catches it with his hands. But he secures it with his body. He understands that that's a first down. That's at the marker. You're going to have competition. Now, this is one of the things that I wanted to highlight that may be an issue for him coming into the NFL. I don't necessarily – well, I'll let it play out one more time, really, actually. So, look. Look how long he took to get out of that – get into the slam. You're not going to get that much time in the NFL to get in and out of your routes. On top of that, you're – about two, three yards away from the defender. <clears throat> and they're not challenging you. So you have all that room in the world to run that. But that's what, two, three seconds away? From, like, Ryan Finley isn't even looking at you. Like, that's that's out of the question now because you're not even into your route. You're dancing. You're doing too much dancing. And that's just something that you'll you'll have to understand that even though you're a patient route, you're a patient route runner, you're very good at running your route. Sometimes you have to understand that being cute at the line of scrimmage is not that's just not something that you need to work on. I mean, that's not something that you that you have to really keep doing. You have to be a little bit more decisive in how you run your routes. You already had the separation. So <laughs> just go. So as he moves to the NFL, that's one of the things um, that you'll see, like off coverage and things like that. He's not being shot at the line. Um, and that dancing, sometimes it, you take yourself out of the play. So are you going to be a productive receiver in the NFL? Um, you have to be a little bit more decisive, decisive in how you run your routes. So here we are again. Um, again, this is like how he catches the, like another hands catch. You're at the sideline with three defenders near you, and you're still catching with your hands, which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Again, another another way. Like this is look look at the strength that he's playing with. Tough to bring down. He got down with one receiver. I mean one <clears throat> one defender. Excuse me. But at the same time, you know it's it's not a it's not an easy task to bring him down. And he stretched for a little bit more yards than you know we should have. Or what a defender should have allowed is what I should have said. Again, same thing, 53 seconds left. Look at what he did in the clutch for NC State now. NC State, again, they lost the game. They were in position to win. Or, excuse me, they were in position to tie. That's what I should say. Uh, but, first and 10, 53 seconds left, going to your best receiver. Looks how he cre creates the separation at the line of scrimmage. Again, he catches with his body, but look how or when he catches it. It's in traffic. So what receiver, I mean, you can catch it with your, your hands, expose your body, but in a situation like this, there is no reason to do that. Smarter to catch it with your body, uh, an experienced NFL receiver or pro receiver, anybody who has court passes <clears throat> uh, and got paid to do it, understands that there are times in which your body, catching with your body benefits you. And this is one. Look at how he catches it. Look at the high point. He gets up there, he gets, gets the football. An aggressive catch. Holds on to it after the hit. Same same drive. Same kind of uh, throw. Back shoulder. 
Him and Ryan Finley did very well in this game. They they work. They put in work. Show this one more time. But look how and also you understand the time as well. Like you're in a situation where you can't dance at the line of scrimmage. He was getting too cute against Syracuse in the other clip that I mentioned. Um, and that's just like he's he's in and out. He plants his foot, makes his move go. He beats the press. Any type of tight coverage, he gets around um, and he makes the catch. It's very good for him. I mean, this one, like look at again with the hand the hand usage at the end, top of the route. Very impressive. Now. <clears throat> I'll let these last clips rock. I don't have much to say um, or much that there needs to be said for how he blocks. But look at where his hand usage is and how he's engaging in the run game. Uh, and that's very impressive. That's what you want to see from a receiver. Josh Doxson, uh, he had his time using, you know, he was, I mean, he was effective in the run game. He got his, he got his hands dirty, giving that credit. Um, so adding more run blockers to the game is very impressive. You'll see Terry McLaurin. He's somebody who loves to, Excuse me, he's a selfless teammate. He loves to get his uh, teammates better and have them produce as well. And this is something that, you know, is needed in the ranking. Uh, when you have your receivers that's ass, uh, they want to block just as bad as you want to score a touchdown, a 60-yard touchdown run. You know, that's that's how bad they want it for you. Kelvin Harmon is a guy who's very effect, uh, effective as a run blocker. <clears throat> and, again, I'll go ahead and let these play. But to close out, uh, how he fits as a red skin, I think Harmon would definitely have a chance to compete here in Washington. There is a void at the receiver position that is in great need of filling. Not saying that, you know, Harmon is the number one receiver, but he has shown he has the hands and rack ability to survive. Uh, run after catch, for those who are not familiar. But he has the rack ability to survive in the NFL and especially in Washington. He will be tested in how he plays against more aggressive uh, bump and run coverage. I mean, in the games I watched, he wasn't tested greatly or very much in that aspect but i mean for receivers like him i really like Harmon and the second year wideout cam sense to be rising stars of sorts for the Redskins specifically uh for their receiving core uh nonetheless time will tell uh how they fare but you know i have i, I really like what i see from these guys uh, i may do a cam sense thing in the future you know uh, for the few games that he did play for the Redskins uh, last year uh, so hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, like, subscribe, do whatever. Um, you know, that makes sense. You know, we appreciate it, all that type of stuff. So, uh, talk to you all next time.